Hello, New Wave of British Heavy Metal.com here. Today is the 9th of September 2023. Quick favour to ask as usual, please, and that's if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel. That'd be marvellous, big help. So um, please do click that button if you would. Something a little bit different today. The always excellent Hats Off Gentlemen, it's adequate. And their new one, The Light of Ancient Mistakes. Now, if you might not know, Hats off, gentlemen. Is adequate. It's adequate, rather. Is um, is is Malcolm Galloway and Mark Gatland, right? And uh, th this this new one of theirs, a light of ancient mistakes. As as usual with uh, hats off stuff, it's uh, it's quite superb. Now I, I wasn't aware that this that this was coming out and, until uh, a few days ago when I got home uh, from somewhere or other. The post was on the map and there was a envelope there that looks suspiciously like it might have a cd in it but i couldn't think of one that was due anyway open it up and and there it was straight from malcolm he's been good enough to spontaneously send me a review copy so thank thank you very much for that um it's you know excellent surprise m most welcome indeed and uh, as usual it's it's mark and malcolm doing what they do best and again as always with hats off stuff malcolm's wife catherine pops up here and there with some very timely well well done flute contributions as well to add to the generally well genre defined music that um, that, that the band conjure up between them i mean to, to paraphrase a, an old yet still popular science fiction franchise you know see if you can guess it's prog jim but not as we know it but anyway, uh, trying to joke slightly aside for a minute, whilst generally hats off gentlemen, it's adequate, is, is prog at its core. As usual, you know, and, and again here on the light of ancient mistakes, all sorts of other stuff come in too, making it quite the varied and interesting listen. I always tend to think a bit when I listen to hats off stuff and I'm not sure if that does me any good or not. But any, anyway, let's uh, continue with the music. This isn't one of their usual concept style albums. Though that said, the running theme through this is that many of the tracks have been inspired by various books. And rather than go into them here, the, 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 the booklet with CD, or if you look at the band's Bandcamp page, it'll explain a little bit of the background to that. And musically and lyrically, this album's one which draws you in and makes you, th well, like I said, it makes you think a bit too. With, with the intelligent lyrics and and the instrumental tracks mixing things up very nicely indeed. Like the, the opener, for example, we sold the piece, Malcolm's slightly edgy vocal delivery and, and Mark's really precise, slightly funky bass lines work so well together. And listening to it after a few times, it, it made me think about what Peter Hamill might have done around about, you know, Late, late 70s ish on say the future now if, if you remember that far back or familiar with peter hamill's work the early instrumentals here in the running order at first listen seem to be a little bit stripped back and largely ambient ambient but then the more you listen the more the the hidden complexities you, you you'll, your ears will find them out you know and it, it's quite a pleasure to to have that experience of every time you listen you you, you pick up on a little bit more about what's going on I'm talking about instrumentals. The three-part anxiety machine is nicely varied between the individual parts which, which span the album. And on Goodbye Cassini, Catherine's flute playing is, is quite eerily emotional, I thought. But even to say it's generally prog, but more than prog, that they can rock it up a bit too when they want to. And like I'm Tired and Everything Hurts, for example, short pulsing rocker with a bit of pace and bite to it. You know, it's only two or three minutes long, but it... it pumps along it does the, the real winner on an album full of winners is walking to alderbarn it's five seconds shy and nine minutes long and somehow such, such is the, the the ability that that mark and malcolm have here to to write inventive stuff those nine minutes sweep along twisting and turning this way and that with all the changing styles and everything else going on you know from prog to ambient to everything else and then back again Again, after a few listens, when it sinks in and you pick up on what's going on, it, it made me think of, say, Van de Graaff uh, in, at, at their peak, you know, say, like Porn Hearts or something like that. But with a modern twist to it, it's quite, quite breathtaking night. Well, eight minutes and 55 seconds. 
the man who japed is uh, in, is quite an interesting one as well and then it all closes off with with a quite haunting burn the world you, you can guess what that's about and the, the, the guitar solo on that is uh, well very very nicely paced and, and chilled out but effective at the same time on, on a generally atmospheric style it's hard to explain without listening to it. It's, it, it really is quite difficult because there's so much going on and it's so different to, to what you might be expecting. The whole album's there around about 70 minutes and none of those minutes is a disappointment. Let, let me uh, emphasise that. Thanks again to Malcolm for sending that surprise review copy. And whether you're a prog fan or not, I'd, I'd suggest you, you check out Hats Off Gentlemen, It's Adequate because they, they are different but enjoyable and so there's so many different styles mixed in not only on this album but their back catalogue as well i'll put links to their website in the description below so you can go and read more about them if you're not familiar with them and also a link to their bandcamp page where you can pick up the light of ancient mistakes in various formats and their other stuff too so please do that certainly a most recommended listen Please also subscribe to the channel before you go, that'd be great. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and of course, take care.